don't have kids, will you all like save for your kids? Yeah, save for the kids lah, but in the first place, I don't have a girlfriend lah, so <laughs> see how it goes lah in the near future. Yeah. Welcome to Mothership Hits the Streets. In 2019, the Singstep Population Study revealed that the average life expectancy of Singaporeans at birth is 83.6 years. But are young people prepared to live that long? How are they saving for a longer life? Today, we find out what millennials think about life in old age. What do you think your life will be like when you're old? Sitting by the countryside, uh, I think on a rocking chair, reading a book, listening to music. I mean, every single like Singaporean grandmother uh, or grandfather like taking care of their kids or like I don't think I'll be that lead uh. like maybe the most lead is like those old auntie uncle play game or be streamer uh, or something like that. Streamer? Yeah, have, have, legit have. Uh, I'll still be doing things that I love like uh, of course I'll still be teaching a little bit hopefully still be active enough to spend time with my kids spending time with my wife traveling. Probably have a good wife Retire with family. If I'm alone, I'll be just doing like, you know, gardening, high tea every day, <laughs> go exercise, jogging, yeah. <laughs> when do you think you'll retire? Uh, honestly, I want to retire by like 40 lah. Probably when my kids about just out of uni, then like, I can have more free time to spend with them. 50 plus? 55, 60. It's around 60. Have you started saving? Oh, definitely. <laughs> yeah, save for the kids lah, but in the first place, I don't have a girlfriend lah, so <laughs> see how it goes lah in the near future, yeah. Legacy savings, I guess. So, uh, legacy savings is like uh, for the next generation, kind of that. I'm not gonna hand them a silver spoon, but uh, at least like give them a cushion, lah, in case. Definitely for health. Yeah. Health is the most important, and also for housing. And also, whatever possible insurance, if we still need it by then. Or there's also like the personal luxuries, like traveling or buying branded stuff. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Living up to 100 years old, right? Will that freak you out or will that be freaking exciting for you? <laughs> it's definitely freaking me out. <laughs> More like my state of my body. If I'm like every 100 year old now, please uh, like just let me go at 80. Uh. What will you want to do until 100 years old? You see, like your friends and family no longer be there, most probably. Unless you're the that one old guy that goes to marathons and then at 100 years old and still can walk the whole thing, then maybe I'll be that guy. Quite cool eh. Maybe you go skydive eh. So if you were to live to 100 years old, right, how would this change the way you plan your life and save? Um, how would structure was, I mean like, we continuously learn. I think it's all about like, working and upgrading yourself along the years lah. I think I would be able to stagger my milestones and life goals. I think it will still be progressive. I work for as much as I can as my company wants me. <laughs> there are some things like on my bucket list that I haven't achieved, like uh, going to Tomorrowland. I want to go traveling as well to uh, Nordic Europe, Denmark, uh, Alaska. Some other weird ones like uh, Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. <laughs> um... Saving will be need to be like very, very, very much earlier saving. And then it must be a very substantial amount. But then if I have my family, I guess my my children will support me. <laughs> yeah. But in terms of structuring my income, as I said, like it's definitely forward pack at my early retirement years, maybe 10, 15 years at the front, right? Then behind is just really to support my expenses. So. Uh, I'm investing a little here and there. And uh, of course, I'm an endowment plans with my um, financial advisor. Investment or fixed deposit. Fixed deposit is like the safest way to be. So, the people that I spoke to today said that savings and insurance are some of the means that they will use to fund for their retirement and old age. Even as Singaporeans are expected to live longer, some millennials I spoke to today said that they want to retire at 40. So, don't save at your own risk ah!